Hey guys, today I'm back in Montebello, my hometown, at the Montebello Chevrolet dealership. Standing next to me is Chris, the owner. Hey Dan, how you hey, doing? Thanks for having us yeah, back. Okay. And we're right on Whittier Boulevard where he's located. And in the past, I bought a suburban from him. Chris has been a great supporter of our youth foundation, helping us out when we had our truck stolen. He did all the repair on it for us for free. And I actually bought a, I bought my own Silverado from him just recently, and my dad bought one last year from him. And he's been a good friend of the family and the TV show and the Youth Foundation. But today, we want to talk to you a little bit about picking out a vehicle for towing. It doesn't matter if you're going down to Baja, to the mountains, or just local. I know it's all about the weight, pretty much, or the payload. How do you decide? Well, it's for trailering, you want to go with your trailering weight, Dan. Right. So, um, obviously, we have a 1500 Silverado crew cab here. <clears throat> it ranges in what you can tow. It's based on the axle ratio, okay? So what a lot of people don't know is they think, oh, it doesn't matter what axle you get. It definitely does matter what axle you get because this Silverado can tow anywhere from 6,500 6, pounds all the way up to uh, 12,000 pounds. Okay. There's some different options. There's some max trailering packages that you can get. That's what you need to tow up to 12,000 pounds. A lot of people don't know that on the Silverado, that you can tow up to 12,000 yeah. pounds. They keep on getting better and better and more innovative. So Chris, I bought the regular Silverado, the 1500. Yes. What's the difference between that? When do you need to step up to the HD? Hey, Dan, you need to step up to the HD if you're gonna be towing any more than 12,000 pounds. Actually, this Silverado 1500 can tow up to 12,000 okay. pounds if equipped. That's the main thing, Dan, that people don't know that. It's gotta be equipped with the correct axle. It's gotta be equipped with the max trailering package. As long as you have those components, this Silverado right here can tow up to 12,000 pounds, which you know is a, is a pretty good sized boat. Yeah, that's a big boat. Yeah, now you go with the 2500, you can get up to 18,500 pounds of, of towing capacity. Other than that, Dan, you wanna go any bigger than that, you're going to a 3500 dual, dual rear wheel, can go up to 25,000 pounds. And you know, by then, if you're going that, towing that big of a boat, you yeah. should leave it in the water. Leave it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Now, if somebody wants that bigger size truck, they can come see you? You have come, those available here? Come see me. We have tons of 1,500 Silverados in stock. At probably We have probably about 80 Silverados in stock. We have a great selection. That's actually our number one seller here in mm -hmm. Montebello is our Silverado. So we carry a great selection. If we don't have it, we'll find it for you. We'll get yeah. it. We'll do a dealer trade for you. No problem. For years, I always had a Suburban and it worked out fine, but anytime I got any fish blood or the greasy juice stuff in, inside the Suburban, it smelled forever, oh, for yeah. weeks and weeks. Well, I really like my Silverado. If I spill anything in it, I get out the water hose. Get out the hose, and spray it right out. It's and good as new. Right, yeah, it's really, no carpet in there. Nope. Makes it nice and easy No smell, me. easy. Now, if somebody is gonna do a lot of towing of their boat down to Ensenada or mm -hmm. farther down into Baja, should they really think about getting that diesel, that 2500 or something stronger? Or is the 1500, if it's a, just depends how heavy the truck is, I mean the boat is? How, depends on how heavy the boat and trailer is combined, combined. Dan. What a lot of people, they forget that. They go, well, when I bought this boat, they said it was 8,000 pounds. But, you know, the trailer does, it does weigh quite a bit, and a lot of people forget about that. But definitely, 1500 Silverado will definitely do the job, Dan. I mean, okay. it's just, if you want to go above that 12,000 pound level, st step up to the 2500. Yeah, it's an additional, you know, additional cost, but you're going with a, a Duramax diesel. You're also going to get a little bit more longevity out of the diesel mm -hmm. than you are gas. So, you know, there's there's pros and cons to both. Um, and it's a long-term investment. It's not a exactly. one-season deal. No, absolutely. If you have that vehicle for a long time. Absolutely, definitely. Cool. And a lot of people, and also consider your payload too, Dan. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. Once you load that thing with fish, ice chest, I mean, you go down to Baja, you catch a, you know, a couple, couple, of, couple uh, bluefin yeah. that are, you know, 100 pounds or something like that. You have put the ice in there, all, all your gear, your equipment, that's adding to your payload. So don't forget, payload is very important too. A lot of people, you know, they buy a 1500. 
they load it up and they're saying, well, I'm not getting the gas mileage that I was getting. Well, what are you putting in it? Well, I'm putting a ton of stuff. Well, you're over your payload capacity, which is causing your engine to work harder and your fuel economy to drop. Cool. Now, Chris and I both believe in catching a lot of fish and we like having fun on the water. But Chris has young kids and he, when he takes his family out on the water, the most important part of his day is get him to the lake safely when he's towing his boat. And that's why Chris and all of you out there, when you take your kids, your friends up with you, you're towing that vehicle, towing your boat out there, spend some time and check your tires, check your brakes, that, all that stuff. And if you're not sure exactly what to check, come see Chris, come to the dealership, and they'll do the free check for you. Yep, absolutely, Dan. Uh, and also, Dan, if, if they happen to need a new truck or a new vehicle, actually at Chevrolet and Montebello, we actually offer four years of maintenance included with your purchase. That's something that you took full advantage yeah. of. And uh, it's, a great, it's a great thing, four years of, of maintenance. It's basically, you don't have to worry about a thing for four years. Yeah, I know that's really sweet. So, and they have one other special right now for the next month or two. You can go ahead, buy or lease any vehicle right here at Chevrolet Montebello. See Chris this time you enjoy watching the TV show, my YouTube channel. They'll send you on a free three-quarter day fishing trip with me. Won't cost you a dime. Come out, we'll introduce you on the show just for taking advantage of that offer. Again, there's nothing more important having your vehicle ready when you're towing your boat. And uh, come see Chris, we'll get that done. Thanks, Chris. And they're guaranteed to catch fish, right, Dave? They should. Okay. I'll be on the help. Hey, well, at least they're not paying for it. So. Well, that would be a free trip. <laughs> and how can they find you? They can find us on website. Everybody goes on the web now, ChevroletMontebello.com. We have a list of over 700 vehicles, usually in stock, uh, ready to go. We have pre-owned vehicles, new vehicles. We have all our service specials all online. So uh, they can find you know, their tires what size tires that we have in stock. Everything is online. So visit us at ChevroletMontebello.com or you can give us a call 323-728-9181. We'd be more than welcome to answer any questions that you have. Cool. And don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And please subscribe right here on my YouTube channel to get all our video updates. And don't <laughs> forget to friend ChevroletMontebello.com on Facebook as well. Cool. All right, well, thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you all really soon. Thank you.